My name is Dr. Neil Baum. I'm a urologist in New Orleans, Louisiana, and I would like to take a few moments to discuss with you the benign condition called spermatocele. In this video, I will describe what a spermatocele is, I will tell you how the diagnosis is made, and I'll discuss with you some of the treatment options. A spermatocele is a small collection of sperm that is on the surface of the testicle forming a simple cyst. The symptoms of a spermatocele is usually a round lump that can be felt on the testicle. It is usually painless but may be a source of slight discomfort if it becomes large. The diagnosis is usually made on a physical examination. It may transilluminate light, that is, if a flashlight is placed on the scrotum and the light turned off in the room, you can see the light pass right through the spermatocele. The diagnosis of a spermatocele is confirmed with a scrotal ultrasound examination. This test is usually performed in radiology or it can be done in the doctor's office and it will confirm that the lesion involves only the epididymis and not the testicle and is not to be confused with a testicular tumor. The treatment of spermatocele is usually watchful waiting and reassuring the man that it is a benign lesion. Only if it is uncomfortable or grows to a size that starts to throw, show through the shorts is treatment recommended. Usually oral analgesics and anti-inflammatory medication is prescribed if the spermatocele becomes painful. A treatment called sclerotherapy has occasionally been used where the spermatocele is drained with a needle and then an agent is inserted into the spermatocele that causes it to scar down. I usually recommend for large symptomatic spermatoceles that are problematic, either causing pain or discomfort, or are so large that they are showing through the, uh, the shorts and clothing, then I recommend surgical excision called spermatocelectomy. The spermatocelectomy is a one-day surgical procedure. It is performed through a very tiny incision, about an inch in length. It may require a drain to drain any fluid or blood after the procedure, and the drain is removed the first or second day after the procedure. Recovery from a spermatocelectomy is usually two to four weeks. Most men find it comfortable to wear a scrotal support. The spermatocele may re render that testicle not capable of transporting sperm. However, this usually doesn't cause infertility to the man as the opposite testicle is usually more than enough to provide sperm to create a, a situation of fertility. In summary, a spermatocele is a common condition affecting men and is, has to be diagnosed to confirm that it is not a testicular tumor as a spermatocele is a benign condition. Spermatoceles only occasionally need surgery and surgery is usually successful. If you have any additional questions, please don't hesitate to contact me at 504-891-8454 or go to my website www.neilbaum.com. Thank you.